Hello, and welcome to an episode of ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clone a partition or a hard drive. Now, I have shown uh, other techniques to uh, clone hard drives. Uh, I've used Seagate software. I've showed you how to do that. Uh, I've introduced you to uh, partition assistance by AOMEI technology. Uh, a lot of these softwares are similar. Uh, unlike Seagate though, Seagate you have to have at least a Seagate drive or a MacStore drive for that software to work. However, with, AO, with Partition Assistant and Data Backupper from AOMEI Technologies, you don't, it's, it's not uh, discriminative to what kind of hard drive you have. Now the software is free for both private and commercial use. Uh, I will have link at the end of the video as well as in the bottom in the description of the, vi of the video and the watch page as to where you can get your free copy of the software. Now this one here will do basically the same thing that their partition assistant software does. And this one here come, also comes in handy. Now let me get the software started. Now here is the welcome screen. As you can see I've already have a backup created on the uh, computer. Now this is from done from a previous uh, tutorial that I've shown how to do backups, how to create one. And I've explained how to use incremental and differential backups. Well, I've also shown you how to restore uh, a partition or hard drive from a backup. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to clone and what this does is actually copies sector for sector either by a partition or the entire disk. First, I'll show you the partition clone. Now, the partition clone, you could pick a specific partition. Not an entire drive, but a single partition. For instance, I can choose this partition this partition or this partition without having to copy the entire drive. So if you only have a single partition that you want to copy or clone then you can use this feature. Now if you want to copy an entire disk which means it contains everything that's on it you can choose disk clone. Now what sets this apart is instead of selecting a specific partition you're selecting the entire disk even if the disk has multiple partitions on it you're going to copy every single thing on it and this is what sets, sets them apart now keep in mind that a lot of these computers these days do have at least two or more partitions on the drive so if you're going to clone the operating system or upgrade your uh, old hard drive to your new hard drive, then you need to be sure that you clone the entire hard drive because all those partitions on that drive also contains recovery software that, make, that contains all of your original uh, factory condition software on the day that you bought it. So you want to be sure that if you're going to uh, upgrade to a new hard drive, then you need to do a disk clone. Now, what I'm going to do, you can do either partition or a disk. 
Uh, they're basically the same thing. I showed you how, what the differences are in them. Uh, in this demo, I'm going to demonstrate, because I don't have another hard drive to uh, clone to, so I'm going to show you a quick demonstration uh, by using partition, because the two functions are the same, except the differences between what's being copied, as I mentioned. So, let's choose this one here. I'm going to choose this partition. And it will list the capacity. And it also lists how much space is used. Now, I do have the intelligence sector uh, turned on. And what that is, is it's going to uh, only copy the sectors that contain data. This helps make reduce the time it takes to clone a drive. Now, once you select a partition or disk, whichever you're cloning, then you choose next. Now, it wants to choose a destination. And it it's the same list. And it, it depends on what you're going to be uh, cloning. You choose what disk you want it to go to. And keep in mind, when it clones a drive or clones a disk, it will erase anything that's on the old hard drive or on the new drive or the destination drive. It will erase everything on it. Uh, I'm going to select this one. This one has nothing on it. So what we're going to do is clone this partition. Now if you select a partition that's got stuff on it, it'll say here that the source partition cannot be selected as a destination partition. Uh, if you select another one like this that contains data on it, it says that there may be a boot or a system partition on this destination disk. If you restore the operating system in the backup file to the destination disk, this could lead to the existing bootable partition on the destination disk not to boot. So it does give you warnings uh, if you select uh, different uh, partitions that already contain data. So let me check this one. There's nothing on it. We're going to clone this partition to this partition. And as you can see, they're fairly the same size. Now, choose next. Now, it will give you uh, an, an informal window. It says, after performing the operation, the partition in, which I'm being, uh, which is the destination, will be overwritten or deleted. So, if there's any data on there, you'll need to back it up first. Then it wants to know if you're sure to continue the operation. I'm going to continue because there's nothing on it. Now, I'm choose yes. Now, here, it will uh, give you a summary of what's going to be done. The source partition, which is F. The size, how much space is used, uh, the destination partition, it's going to show uh, the size and how much space is used on there. Now, you can, uh, again, edit the partition sizes. Now, I've explained in detail using Partition Assistant as to how these work. To where you can create the partition, uh, you can give it a drive letter, you can change the size of the partition. So if you want a better understanding of how this part works, watch my videos about create, resize, uh, split, move uh, video about partitions using partition assistance. Uh, I'm going to keep everything the same. There is a checkbox down here in the bottom. And you can choose if you wanted to do sector by sector cloning, which means it's only going to clone everything 
whether the data is being used or not. And it can take longer if you do sector by sector. Otherwise, it's only going to clone the sectors that do contain data, and it would be faster. But it's your choice. Because um, what happens is, is if you delete a file, as I've mentioned before in other tutorials, the file is still on the hard drive, which is like this recycle bin. And it's not completely deleted. It's only flagged for deletion. Then that way, the, it, it can stay on there for up to a month before the space is ever reused. But if you have deleted files on there that you think you may need to, to recover in the recycle bin, then go ahead and do the sector by sector clone. It's a little longer, but you're, it's, going, it's the same thing as copying the recycle bin and any files that were deleted. Uh, once you uh, review the operation, choose start clone. And now it's going to begin. It'll say the clone isn't initializing. It's going to check the volumes. The partition's going to be cloning. And it's going to start saying copying data. Now, this is the progress bar up here. Now, you'll notice there's two of them. Uh, if it's got multiple operations, uh, then uh, you got the overall uh, bar. And then above it, you've got the uh current progress bar well actually maybe i'll the uh, other way around uh, i haven't done multiple operations uh i think the top one is the overall and the one below it is the current operations down here you'll see uh, it's moving data and this is the current status it shows you uh how much it has moved compare what is needing to be removed or to be remo uh, moved. Can't talk this morning. Uh, you know, it does have the operation. Uh, if you want to shut down the computer when it's complete, uh, if you want to, you can have this checked. Or you can just sit back, do other things while you wait for the operation to end. Now, when the operations are complete, if you've checked, shut down computer after completing the operation, then your computer would have automatically shut down. Uh, if you're still running the computer like I am, uh, you'll also get probably the autoplay uh, popping up, showing the uh, drive or the partition has been detected. Now, once you're finished with cloning, it will bring you back to the home section and uh, I've shown how you can do uh, you can copy them uh, you can choose let me open this one and then I can open the other one and move them side to side and you can see that they're exactly the same. Just like that. See, as you can see, we cloned one partition to another. Now, this works with hard drives too, as I've shown the differences between the two. But other than that, it all works the exact same way. Now, when you're finished, it will bring you back to the home. And when you're going to clone, or if you're going to uh, back up or restore, if you do a sector by sector, then the capacity must be equal or larger on the destination. If you use intelligent sector, then the destination only has to be as large as the data that's written or larger. For instance, here 
it says that the capacity is 59.8. Now, if you did sector by sector, then the destination drive or partition must be equal to or larger than the capacity of the partition you're, you're cloning or backing up or restoring. Now, if you do intelligent sector, as it says here, the used space is only 32.35. Now, if that's the case and you're doing intelligent sector, then the destination only needs to be a minimum of 32.35 gigabytes or higher. So you can see the differences as to, the, to uh, what's being cloned or what's being uh, copied. Uh, so keep that in mind, the differences between sector to sector and intelligent sector. Well, I am your host, Mr. Fixit. This has been a presentation by ES Repair. I've showed you how to uh, clone a partition or a disk drive. Uh, I do have other tutorials for this software and others at our uh, channel at www.youtube.com slash user slash ES Repair. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll give you the link that you can go to to get your free copy of this software. I thank you for watching. Have a good day.